Hey guys, Amanda here to lead you through a practice today. Um, I know that we're all experiencing um, some different emotions at this point, some fear, uh, you know, some uh, feeling closed off from the world, feeling as though we're um, isolated at home. Uh, so Say the Hot Yoga um, decided that we really needed to um, provide a community space for our clients online. And so here we are, we're going to um, add some weekly videos, uh, daily videos for you guys to practice at home. And we really hope this adds some light and um, a little bit more uh, community within your life um, at this difficult time in our, um, in our community. So let's get started. Um, make sure you roll out your mat. Uh, anything you need, if you want to add some props, you can. Um, you know, if you have any blocks or straps at home, you're always welcome to use them. Uh, if you don't have any blocks or straps, I find a tie is always a good um, strap that you can use and um, even like a book as well for a block if you need to. Um, so those are always some suggestions if you need any um, home, at home uh, remedies for props. Um, so let's roll out our mat and we'll get started on the practice. Um, so let's come down into a comfortable seated position to start off today. Uh, we're going to sit up in a nice long tall spine, begin to close down those eyes. We're just going to ground ourselves a little bit before we come into our practice. So find space to lengthen up through that spine, begin to connect back to yourself. Let go of thoughts that may be spiraling around within your mind. Take time here to connect back to how you are feeling. Notice if there is anything that's coming up continually for you, anything that you might be holding on to within your body, within your mind, and within your heart. And seeing what you are holding on to and finding space to let that go. Allow it to just float away from you here. Come back to a natural state a natural state of body, a natural state of mind, and a natural state of breath. Speaking of the breath, seeing if you can begin to deepen that breath a little bit, coming into a steady, even rhythm, a steady, even flow. Maybe even begin to notice how the breath is traveling within your body. Noticing as it travels up through the nose, down through the throat and deep into your belly. And as you exhale, noticing the breath rise up from the belly, out through the throat, and feeling that warm breath of air coming out of the nose. Take a few more rounds here, really noticing this path. Finding space to notice that energetic line as it flows in and out of the body. Allow this to provide concentration for you here. And maybe even begin to provide concentration throughout your entire practice today. Finding space to hone in on that breath. And then whenever we're ready, I invite you to set an intention for your practice. Something that's powerful and something you need today. Whether that be mindfulness. Maybe it's gratitude, love, strength, peace, serenity. Whatever it is you need in this moment. On this particular day. Within this week and allow it to flow through the body. As we begin to roll throughout this practice today, allow this intention to guide your practice. If you begin to lose anything at all, lose your mind, your mind begins to wander off, bring it back to your intention. If you begin to lose that breath, find space to guide it back to your intention and simply flow through the breath. Whenever we're ready, we'll begin to open up those eyes. On our next inhalation, we're going to rise those arms straight up towards the sky. On your next exhalation, you're going to take hold of opposite elbows, open up through the heart, peel that chest away, gaze comes up towards the sky. As you exhale, you're going to hinge and round out through the spine, elbows come down towards the knees, Finding a nice little flow into the spine. Inhaling once again, we'll rise up through that chest. Open up through the heart. Exhaling, hinge and round. Begin to flow through with your own breath here. So inhaling, rise. Open up through the heart. And exhaling, round. 
Let's go about three more rounds with your own breath. And one more final round. Good. On our next inhalation, we're going to rise those elbows straight back up to the sky. Begin to rise right arm up to the sky, left arm up to the sky. Actively reach through those fingertips. So spread those fingertips nice and wide. Activate through the biceps and the triceps here. Breathing nice and strong. You're going to make sure that your left sits bone is rooted deeply into the floor. Take one full inhale. Exhale, you're going to hinge slightly towards that right side of the room. Activating through those obliques here. Find a little bit of grounding into that left sits bone. Breathing nice and strong. Inhale, we'll rise those arms straight back up. Exhaling once again, we're going to come towards that left side here. Keep your right sits bone rooted deeply into the floor. Activating through those obliques. Breathe. Fingertips stretch up nice and wide. Inhale, rise that straight back up. Let's go one more time on each side. Exhale to the right. Inhale, rise. Exhale to the left. Inhale, rise. Exhale, you're going to ground that right fingertip behind your right hip. Left fingertip comes to the outside edge of your right knee. Take one full inhale, find length up through your spine. Exhale, gaze comes over your right shoulder, coming into a nice spinal twist here. Find that breath. With every inhale, find a little bit more length up through your spine. Every exhale, finding a little extra space to twist. Gaze comes out and over that right shoulder. Good. Inhaling, we're going to rise those arms straight back up to the sky. Exhaling, you're going to switch to that opposite side. So bring that left hand down behind your left hip, right hand to the outside edge of your left knee. Inhale, find length, and exhale, gaze comes over that left shoulder. Finding that nice length up through your spine. As you exhale, you'll find a little extra space to twist. Again, using your breath as your guide. Inhaling once again, we're going to rise those fingertips straight back up to the sky. Activate through those fingertips. Exhale, right fingertip down towards the floor. Take one full inhale. Exhale, hinge towards that right side of the room. Firm foundation into your right palm. Reach that left arm up and over, coming into a nice side body stretch. You might even have a little bit of space today to bring your forearm all the way down to the floor, reaching a little bit further. If you have a lot of space today and your neck feels okay, gaze might come up into the eye of your left elbow. Again, find that breath. Inhaling once again, you're going to rise that left arm up to the sky, right arm follows. Exhale, left fingertip down to the floor. Slowly begin to reach up and over towards that opposite side. Nice side body stretch. Keep your right shoulder rotated back, opening up through the heart. If you have lots of space today, you might even be able to bring the forearm down to the floor. Gaze comes up into the eye of your right elbow. Breathing. Inhaling, we'll rise that right arm straight back up. Left arm follows. Exhale, you're going to drop those fingertips down to the floor. Give your shoulders a nice gentle roll out. They might be a little tender, so we'll roll them towards the back of the room. And then begin to roll them towards the front of the room, letting go of any tenderness and tension. Good. From here, we're going to make our way up into our tabletop position. So whenever you're ready, find space to get all yourself ready into your tabletop. Knees are going to come down underneath of the hips, hands underneath of the shoulders. We're going to drop that belly rise up through the chest, gaze comes up. Exhale, hinge from the hip, round out through the spine, drop the crown of the head towards the floor. Again, hinge from the hip, open up through the heart, rise up through the chest. Exhale, hinge from the hip, round out through the spine, drop the crown of the head towards the floor. Begin to flow through with your own breath. Finding space for about three more rounds.
When you finish that third and final round, we're gonna come straight back into that neutral tabletop. From here, you're gonna work yourself down into your puppy pose. So walk those hands out in front of the body, root that chest down in between the arms, spread those fingertips nice and wide. You might even see if you can bring the forehead down towards the floor, knees are in line with the hips. If you have a little extra space today, you might even see if you can bring your chin towards the floor, opening up a little bit further into the heart. Keep that breath flowing. Keep actively pressing your chest down towards the earth. Inhaling, let's rise that torso straight back up, coming into your neutral spine. On your next exhalation, you're going to guide that right heel straight out towards the back of the room. Keep your right toe rotated in so that your hips are level and square. Good. On our next inhalation, you're gonna lengthen that left fingertip straight up towards the front of the room, coming into a little bit of activation into your core. Find your breath, find your hold, balance and stability here. You might stay right here. If you wanna activate a little bit further today, see if you can bring your left elbow to your right knee. Inhaling, lengthen that straight back out. Exhale, left elbow to the right knee. Begin to, once again, flow through with your breath, finding space for about three more here. When you finish that third and final one, we're gonna lengthen straight back out. Exhale, you're gonna plant that left hand down to the floor, wing your left toe out, rotate through that right hip, so the right hip is coming up towards the sky, right fingertip up towards the sky, coming into your baby half moon. If you need to and balance is tender today, you can always bring your right toe to the back of the mat, coming into your modified side plank. Whatever feels good. If you're working into the balance, you might take a little bit of a bend into your right knee. Reach back with that right hand, see if you can grab hold of the ankle. Open up through the heart, press your right foot into your right hand. Gaze might come up towards the sky, so you can work towards a little bit more balance into the body. Breathing here. On your next exhalation, you're going to release that hold. Right toe comes to the back of the mat. Right hand comes down to the floor. Wing that left toe in. Press your right heel towards the back of the room. So you're coming into a nice calf stretch here. Toes are curled under. Breathe. Inhaling, you're going to bring that right knee back in line with the left. Head. Exhale, you're going to extend that left heel straight out towards the back of the room. Once again, rotate your left toe in so that your hips are level and square. From here, you might begin to reach your right fingertip up towards the front of the room, finding that little bit of balance and activation into your core. You might stay right here. If you want to take it a little bit deeper, see if you can bring your right elbow to your left knee. Inhale, lengthen it straight back out. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale it out. Finding space for about three more with your own breath. When you finish that third and final one, lengthen straight back out. Exhale, right hand comes down to the floor. Rotate that lift left hip up towards the sky. Left fingertip comes up to the sky, coming into that baby half moon. Again, if you need to for balance and stability, toe can come down to the floor. If you want to play a little bit today with your balance, you might take a bend into that left knee, grab hold of the ankle, open up through the heart and the chest. Breathe. If you have space with balance today, gaze might come up towards the sky. Keep pressing that left foot into your right hand, opening up a little bit deeper into a back bend. Exhaling, let's release. Left toe comes to the back of the mat, left hand to the floor. Curl that left toe under, press your hips back, coming into a nice deep calf stretch. Pressing that left heel towards the back of the room, breathing strong. And on our next exhalation, your right toe is going to come back to meet the left, coming into a plank pose. If this is too much for you, modified plank is always there. Knees are slightly back from the hips. 
Breathe, find your hold. Keep that core strong, three more breaths if you can. Exhaling, we'll lower down through your chaturanga. So again, if you need to use those knees, lower the chest down in between the arms. Inhaling, you can rise it up into your baby cobra or up dog if that's within your practice. And exhaling, you'll curl those back toes under, send your hips up and back into your very first downward facing dog. Start to pedal out those feet for this first down dog. Make sure that your fingertips are spread nice and wide. Find that breath. Keep actively pressing your hips towards the back of the room. And do any movements you need here. If you want to sway a little bit through the hips, find space to play with the body, play with what feels good. On our next inhalation, we're going to look forward. Exhale, take a slight bend on the knee, walk your feet up to the top of the mat. Inhaling, you'll find your halfway lift, come into a nice flat spine. Exhale, hinge and fold. Inhaling, let's rise those arms all the way up and overhead. Look up to your hands. Exhale, we'll hinge and fold over the legs. Inhaling, you'll find your halfway lift. Bring your hands to your shins. Exhale, firmly plant the hands. Walk your feet to the back of the mat. Lower down through your chaturanga. Again, if you need to, you can bring those knees down to the floor. Lower the chest down in between the arms. Inhale, rise it up into your baby cobra or up dog. And exhale, you'll send the hips up and back into your downward facing dog. Breathing here. Find that hold. Again, you're welcome to pedal out those heels a couple more times if that feels good. Two more breaths. Inhaling, let's look forward. Exhale, take a slight bend on the knee, walk or hop your feet up to the top of the mat. Inhale, you'll find your halfway lift. Exhale, hinge and fold. Inhale, let's rise those arms all the way up and overhead, look up to your hands. Exhale, hinge and fold over the legs. Inhaling, halfway. Exhale, firmly plant the hands, walk or hop your feet to the back of the mat, lower down through your chaturanga. Inhale it up into your upward facing dog or baby cobra. And exhale, hips up and back, downward facing dog. Find that hold. Find your breath. Two more active breaths. Inhaling, we're going to look forward. Exhale, take a slight bend on the knee, walk or hop your feet up to the top of the mat. Inhale, find your halfway lift. Exhale, hinge and fold. Inhale, we'll rise those arms all the way up and overhead and look up to your hands. Exhale, hinge and fold. Inhaling, halfway. Exhale, firmly plant the hands, walk or hop your feet to the back of the mat, lower down through your chaturanga. Inhale it up into your back bend and exhaling hips up and back into your downward facing dog. Find space for that hold, space for your breath. Inhaling, let's look forward. Exhale, take a slight bend on the knee, walk or hop your feet up to the top of the mat. Inhaling, find your halfway lift. Exhale, hinge and fold. Let's take a deep bend into the knees. Rise the hands of Ukatasana chair pose. Sink those hips nice and low. Press the hips all the way back. If your shoulders are tender, you can always bring your hands into heart center. Find your hold wherever it feels good. Breathe. Nice activation into your gluteal muscles. Sink the hips a little bit lower. Exhale, hinge and fold. Inhaling, we'll find your halfway lift. Exhale, you're going to heel toe those feet so that they're coming straight down from the hips. 
Take one full inhale. Exhale, take a slight bend in the knees. Wrap the middle finger and index fingers around your big toes. Inhaling, find your length. Exhale, splay those elbows to the outside edges of the, of the room and let your head drop nice and heavy. Maybe even begin to bob, nod, sway your head and your neck from side to side. Letting go of any tenderness, tension that might be going on. And you might stay right here. If you want to take this pose a little bit deeper today, find your halfway lift. Exhale, you're going to bring those hands underneath of the feet, coming into your Padahastasana. So bringing the toes to the wrist joint, hands are coming all the way under. Take one full inhale. Exhale, once again, hinge and fold. Splay those elbows to the outside edges of the room. Find your breath once again. Listen to where it feels good for you. Inhaling once again, we're going to find a halfway lift, nice lift up through the spine. Exhale, you're going to use your left hand to the outside edge of your right ankle. Right arm goes straight up to the sky, finding a twist here. If you want to take this pose a little bit deeper, you might even wrap that right arm around the back side of the body, bringing it to the opposite thigh. Opening the heart up towards that right side of the room. Find your breath. Exhaling, unravel that right arm. Bring that right hand to that left ankle. Inhale, left arm up. Exhale, wrap that left arm around the back side of the body, opening up through the heart. Breathe, finding that nice twist. Exhaling, let's unravel. Bring that left hand back down to the floor. Inhale, once again, find your halfway lift. Exhale, firmly plant the hands, walk or hop your feet to the back of the mat, lower down through your turn. Inhale it up into your back bend. And exhaling, hips up and back into your downward facing dog. Inhale, let's guide that right leg straight up to the sky. Exhale, you're going to plant that right foot in between your hands. Inhale, rise it up into your crescent lunge. Arms go up. Roll those shoulder blades back and down from the body. Now you're welcome to stay right here. If you want to take this pose a little bit deeper today, bring those arms into cactus arms. Gaze comes up towards the sky, opening up through the heart. Again, take it to where it feels good for you. Arms can stay straight up towards the sky or take it all the way into cactus. Whenever you're ready, let's bring those hands down into heart center. Take one full inhale. Exhale, you're going to find firm foundation into your right, front right foot. See if you can hop that left toe up off of the floor, coming into your warrior three. Find balance. If you need to, if balance is too much here today, you can always bring the fingertips down to a floor or to the block. Listen to what feels good for you. Keep that left toe rotated in so that your hips are level and square. Good. Exhale, you're going to guide that left toe back down to meet the right. Inhaling halfway. Exhale, firmly plant the hands. Walk or hop your feet to the back of the mat. Lower down through your chaturanga. Inhale it up into your back bend. Exhaling hips up and back into your downward facing dog. Inhaling, left leg goes straight up to the sky. Exhale, let's plant that left foot in between your hands. Inhale, rise it up, crescent lunge. Roll those shoulder blades back and down from the body. Breathe. You might stay right here. If you want to take it a little bit deeper, cactus arms open up through the heart. Gaze comes up towards the sky. Again, listen to what feels good for you today. Find that breath. Find your hold. Whenever you're ready, let's bring those hands down through the heart center. Take one full inhale, find firm foundation into your front left foot. See if you can pop your right toe up, coming into your full warrior three. Breathe. 
If it's too much for you to have your hands in the heart center, you might guide those fingertips down to the floor or to a prop. Keep your right toe rotated in, hips are level and square. Exhaling, that right toe comes back up to meet the left. Inhaling halfway. Exhale, firmly plant the hands, walk or hop your feet to the back of the mat. Lower down, chaturanga. Inhale it up into your back bend. Exhaling, hips up and back into your downward facing dog. Inhaling, right leg comes straight up to the sky. Exhale, let's plant that right foot to the outside edge of your right hand. Left hand stands firm onto the floor. Inhale, right arm goes up to the sky, finding balance here. If you need to modify today, you can always bring that left knee down to the floor, uncurl the back toe, right arm up. Again, take it to where it feels good for your body. Find that breath, find your hold. If you wanna take this pose a little bit deeper, you might even wrap that right arm around the back side of the body, bringing it to your low back. Opening that heart up towards that right side of the room. Inhaling, right arm comes straight back up to the sky. Exhale, you're gonna plant that right hand back down to the floor. Again, you can keep that left knee lifted up. Roll onto the outside edge of your right foot. You might stay right here, or maybe you'll roll down onto those forearms. If you wanna take it a little bit more relaxed, bring that left knee down to the floor. Uncurl the back toes, same thing. You might hang out onto the forearms, or maybe you're hanging out onto the hands. Wherever feels good, find your hold. On your next inhalation, you're gonna rise back up onto those hands. Exhale, you're gonna rise back up onto the base of your right foot. Start to walk those hips back. Keep your right toe to the outside edge of your mat. And then right toe comes up towards the sky. So hands are in the center of your right leg. Take one full inhale. Exhale, hinge and forward fold. Let the chin drop towards the chest. Inhaling, you're gonna walk yourself back forward, come back up onto the base of your right foot. Firm foundation onto that left toe, curl that toe under, knee comes up off of the floor if it's there. You're gonna send that right toe back to meet the left and lower down through your chaturanga. Inhale it up into your back bend and exhaling hips up and back into your downward facing dog. Inhaling, left leg comes straight up to the sky. Exhale, you're gonna plant that left foot to the outside edge of your left hand. And again, you might stay right here with your right knee lifted up off of the floor, left arm comes up. Maybe you need a little bit of space today for balance, right knee comes down to the floor, left arm comes up. If you need a little bit of space, wrap that left arm around the back side of the body, opening up through the heart, gaze comes up. Breathing wherever feels good for you. Inhaling, left arm comes straight back up to the sky. Exhale, bring that left hand into the instep of your left foot. Maybe roll onto the outside edge of your left foot. Again, right toe can be curled under, knee lifted up off the floor, or maybe knee down onto the floor if you wanna take it a little bit more relaxed. You might hang out onto those hands or take it all the way down onto the forearms if you have the space. Maybe you have a prop that you can bring your forearms down onto, maybe a pillow or a book, whatever you need. On your next inhalation, you're gonna rise back up onto those hands, rise back up onto the base of your left foot. Start to walk your hips back, walk the hands back onto the instep of your left leg. Left toe comes up to the sky, take one full inhale, exhale, hinge and forward fold, chin to chest.
Inhaling, let's rise back up onto the base of your left foot. Firm foundation into the hands, curl your right toe under, send that left toe back to meet the right. From here, lower down through your Chaturanga. Inhale it up into your back bend. Exhaling hips up and back into your downward facing dog. Inhaling right leg goes straight up to the sky. Exhale, let's bring that right knee towards your right wrist. Lower that left leg towards the back of the room. Lengthen it all the way out, coming into your pigeon pose. On our next inhalation, you're going to find length up through that spine. And exhale, you're going to hinge and fold. Maybe bring those forearms down to the floor. If you have the space today, you might even see if you can bring your forehead to the floor. If you need to, you might even stack those hands on top of one another, such that fist on top of fist, forehead rest heavy. You can always use any type of props that you have, whether you want to use a pillow, a blanket for the forehead to rest heavy, anything at all. Find space to get a little bit comfortable in this pose. Surrender to the posture. Allow yourself to find a nice gentle hold and hanging out here. Maybe even rock that head from side to side if that feels good. Anything at all. Square it off through the hip. On our next inhalation, we're going to guide that torso straight back up. Exhale, you're going to plant your right hand onto the instep of your right knee. Bring that right foot into the center line of the body. Slowly begin to take a bend into your left knee. Open up through the heart. Gaze comes up towards the sky. If you want to take it a little bit further today, see if you can reach back with that left hand. Maybe grab hold of the ankle. Again, gaze comes up towards the front of the room, opening up through the heart. Now, if you can't reach the ankle, that's okay. Bring that left hand down to the floor. Again, opening up through the heart. Same variation, same stretch. Working into that quadricep. Breathing here. And on our next exhalation, you're going to lower that left toe down to the floor. Curl that left toe under. Firm foundation into those hands. Send that right toe back to meet the left coming into your downward facing dog. Inhaling, once again, we're going to rise that left toe straight up to the sky. Exhaling, bring that left knee towards that left wrist. Lengthen that right leg up nice and long. Uncurl the back toes. Take one full inhale. Square off through the hips. Exhale, hinge and fold. Again, forehead rests heavy wherever it can. You might stack fist on top of fist. Forehead might come down to the floor. Maybe you're using a block pillow, anything at all, book, blanket, anything to rest your forehead. Find space to hang out and hold. Surrendering to this posture. And again, bring your intention back in here. If you've lost that intention along the way, this is the perfect time to bring it back in. Surrendering to the pose. Surrendering to the breath. On your next inhalation, you're going to guide yourself back up onto those hands. Exhale, you're going to bring that left foot back into the center line of the body. Plant that left hand onto the instep of your left knee. Again, gaze comes up towards the front of the room. Take a bend into your right knee. Open up through the heart. You might stay right here. Right toe shines up towards the sky. If you want to take it a little bit deeper, see if you can reach back with that right hand. Grab hold of the ankle again. Gaze comes up. If that's too much for you here, bring that right hand back down to the floor. Gaze is up towards the front of the room. Breathing. Find your hold. Find your breath. And on our next exhalation, let's release that hold. Right toe comes down to the floor. From here, you're going to roll off onto that left hip. Swing that right foot forward and guide your right foot to the outside edge of your left thigh. Now from here, if this is too much for you to bring those knees towards one another, you might see if you can bring that left leg lengthened out nice and long, coming into the modification of the pose. So again, take it to where it feels good for you. From here, you're going to plant your right hand behind your right hip. Inhaling, left arm goes straight up to the sky. 
Exhale, left elbow comes to the outside edge of your right knee. Gaze comes over your right shoulder. Now again, modification. If the elbow can't reach, you can always bring that left hand to the outside edge of the knee. Again, gaze comes over that shoulder. With every inhale, find that length up through your spine. Every exhale, find a little extra space to twist. Using your breath as your guide. And on our next exhalation, you're going to lengthen that left leg straight out towards the front of the room. Lengthen your right leg straight out towards the front of the room. Take a bend into your left knee, left heel to the outside edge of your right foot or right thigh. From here, you can keep your right leg lengthened if you're taking the modification. If you want to take it into the full variation, right heel back beside your left hip and square off those hips. Whenever you are ready, you're going to plant that left hand behind your left hip. Inhale, right arm goes up to the sky. Exhale, right elbow to the outside edge of your left knee. Gaze comes over your left shoulder. Again, modification, you can always just bring the hand to the outside edge. Gaze over that left shoulder. With every inhale, find that length up through the spine. Every exhale, maybe find a little extra space to twist within your posture. Gaze is out and over that left shoulder. Keep that breath flowing strong. And on our next exhalation, let's unravel, come back through to center. You're going to lengthen that left leg out in front of you. Slowly begin to flex the toes back towards the face. Take one full inhale. Exhale, hinge and find your forward fold. Now take hold of wherever you can. That might be the calf, the ankle, maybe the foot. With every inhale, find length up through your spine. Every exhale, find a little extra space to fold. Again, use your breath as your guide. Finding space to hang on hold for at least five full breaths. When you finish your fifth and final breath, inhale, walk that torso straight back up. Exhale, you're going to plant your hands behind the hips, shine the fingertips towards the bum. From here, there's three different variations you can take today. Start to let your head drop nice and heavy, open up through the heart to keep this pose a little bit more relaxed. If you want to take it into the second variation, coming up into your reverse tabletop, take a bend into the knees, lift those hips up nice and high, let that head drop nice and heavy. Again, if you want to take it into that third variation, reverse plank pose, toes come out towards the front of the room, lift the hips up nice and high, toes squeeze down towards the floor, head drops heavy. Now again, any variation will do. Breathe whatever feels good for you today. Find space for your hold. If you're lifting up through those hips, lift a little bit higher if you can. Two more active breaths. And on our next inhalation, you're going to slowly begin to drop those hips back down to the floor. Inhale, rise up through that chest. Exhale, you'll guide your right foot in towards to meet the left. Inhale, find length up through your spine and exhale, hinge and fold over that left leg. Again, take hold of wherever you can, calf, ankle, maybe the foot. If you have a little extra space today, you might reach a little bit further in with that right hand, opening up into the side body stretch of that right side body. Let your head drop heavy. Breathe. And on our next inhalation, begin to walk that torso straight back up. Exhale, plant your right hand behind your right hip. Inhale, lift the hips up. Left fingertip up to the sky, coming into your baby wild thing. Opening up through the heart. Breathe, find that hold. Exhale, 
Exhaling, let's hinge those hips back down to the floor. Send your right toe out towards the front of the room. Left foot into the inner right side. Inhaling, find your length. And exhale, find your fold. Again, take hold of wherever you can. Calf, ankle, maybe the foot. If you have that little extra space today, you might reach a little bit further in with that left hand, opening up into that left side body. Chin to chest, breathe. Inhaling, we'll begin to walk that torso straight back up. Exhale, left hand behind your left hip. Inhale, rise the hips. Right fingertip up to the sky, coming into that baby wild thing. Open up through the heart. Breathe. Find your hold. Find that breath. Exhale, slowly begin to hinge those hips back down to the floor. Be begin to bring that right foot in to meet the left. Inhaling, find your length up through your spine. Exhale, hinge and round the crown of the head down towards the tips of the toes. If you want to give yourself a little bit of love today, use those thumbs to start to massage into the balls of the feet. Maybe even begin to massage into the centers of the feet, the heels, whatever feels good. Start to massage those toes, wiggle them out. Breathe. And on our next inhalation, we're going to rise that torso straight back up. Exhale, we're going to guide those knees back towards one another. And we're going to come into our straddle position. So let's open the legs up nice and wide. From here, you're going to flex the toes back towards the face. You might even plant your hands behind the hips and just shift the hips slightly forward. Bring those fingertips back out in front of the body. Take one full inhale, find length up through the spine. Exhale, guide those fingertips forward. Now again, you might just find firm foundation into the palms. If you have a little extra space today, you might bring the forearms down to the floor. Or maybe you have even more space today and you might even bring the chest down to the floor. If you'd like, again, you can use any type of prop to bring your forehead down. So if you're close to the floor, you can always bring a pillow underneath, a blanket. If you're not so close to the floor, you can always stack some blocks, books, anything at all for a nice gentle support of the head. Or you can even take a bend into the elbows and support the head with the hands, whatever feels good. On your next inhalation, begin to walk that torso straight back up. Exhale, you're gonna guide your torso over top of your right leg. Take one full inhale. Exhale, hinge and fold. Walk to the outside edges of the leg. And then take hold of wherever you can. Calf, ankle, maybe the foot. Let your head drop nice and heavy. Inhaling, let's slowly begin to walk that torso straight back up. Exhale, swing your torso over top of that left leg. Inhale, find your length and exhale, find your fold. Walk the hands to the outside edges. And then where, whenever you are ready, grab hold of wherever you can. Take one full inhale. Exhale, full forward fold. On your next inhalation, begin to walk that torso straight back up. Exhaling, let's take a bend into your right knee. Firmly plant your right foot outside of the hip. Take a bend into your left knee and left foot. Again, same thing to the outside of your hip. Hands can come to the shin, so feet are opened up nice and wide. Inhale, find your length. Send the belly through. Exhale, hinge and round chin to chest. Good. Inhaling, find your length. Send that belly through. Exhale, hinge and round, chin to chest. Begin to flow through about two more rounds with your own breath. Mm. 
When you finish that second and final round, we're going to inhale, find length up through that spine. Exhale, you're gonna plant your hands behind your hips and lean slightly back, start to windshield wiper those knees from side to side. Again, just letting go of any tenderness, tension that might have been built up into those hips. Breathe. And then whenever you're ready, let's guide those knees back up into center. You're going to heel toe those feet back in line with the hips and lower yourselves down onto the back. We're going to prepare ourselves for a bit of a bridge flow. So from here, let's start to walk those feet in so that they're coming closer to the hips. Heels are in line with the hips and knees are in line with the hips. Hands are straight down beside the hips. On your next inhalation, you're going to rise the hips, rise those hands straight up and overhead. As you exhale, you're going to lower the hands, lower the hips back down to the floor. Inhaling once again, rise the hips, rise the hands straight up and overhead. As you exhale, lower the hips, the hands back down to the floor. Let's do about three more rounds with your own breath. Last and final round. When you finish that third and final round, your hands and hips come back down to the floor. Let's hug that right knee in towards the chest and squeeze the right knee up towards your right shoulder ball. From here, you're going to roll onto the outside edge of your left foot. Let that left knee drop open towards that left side of the room, coming into a half bada konasana. Breathing here. Find your hold. Inhaling, we'll guide that left knee back up into center. Exhale, let's plant your right heel down to the floor. Inhale, left knee guides up in towards the chest. Exhaling, left knee to the outside edge of that left shoulder ball. And again, you're going to roll onto the outside edge of your right foot, coming into a nice half bottle kanasana. Breathe in here. Find your breath, find your hold. And inhaling, let's guide that right knee back up into center. Exhale, left heel down to the floor. Inhaling, right ankle comes on top of that left thigh. Pressing your right knee up towards the front of the room, you'll wrap those hands around that left thigh, gently hug it in towards the body, coming into a nice gluteal stretch. You might even add a slight rock sway of those hips from side to side, massaging into your sacrum. If you have a little extra space today, you might even lengthen that left leg up towards the sky, Walk the hands up the calf, or maybe even grab hold of that left big toe with your left fingertip. Again, listen to what feels good within your body. Find the hold within your breath. Exhaling, you'll plant that left foot back down to the floor. Plant your right foot down to the floor. Inhaling, we'll bring that left ankle on top of your right thigh. Again, pressing that left knee up towards the front of the room, you'll start to hug that right knee in towards the chest. Wrap the hands around that right thigh. You might add a slight rock sway from side to side, massaging into your hips and your sacrum. If you wanna take it a little bit further, begin to lengthen that right leg straight up to the sky. Walk the hands up the calf, or maybe even grab hold of your right big toe with your right fingertips. Again, listen to what feels good for you. Find your breath, find your hold. Sending that right foot back down to the floor will guide that left foot down to the floor. From here, you're going to heel toe those feet together and let the knees drop open like a book. Coming into your reclining Baddha Konasana. Hands can go wherever it feels comfortable, so you can bring those hands down to the belly to connect to the breath. Lie with those palms facing up beside the hips. Cactus arms, T position, maybe even taking hold of opposite elbows. So again, listen to what feels good for you. 
Find space to close down your eyes here. Allowing yourself to connect to your pose. And allow yourself to honor that gravitational pull today. Noticing as that gravitational pull gently tucks your hips a little bit closer towards the floor, letting those knees splay open nice and wide. Noticing it gently press the shoulders a little bit deeper into the earth, grounding you here. Grounding in you into this space, into this time, and into where you are today. Find space to honor this and honor your intention. Bring that intention back into your heart, into your mind's eye, whatever it was that you set for yourself. Find space to guide yourself back to it. Hanging out and holding here, three more active breaths. And you're welcome to stay here for as long as you'd like. If you want to soak up a few more moments of this posture, go right ahead. Whenever you are ready to make your way down into your final resting pose, Shavasana, take your time to get there. Begin to lengthen those arms out beside the hips. Lengthen those legs out nice and wide, even wider than your mat today if your space is available. Find space within your room to take up extra space. If you have it, take it up. Roll those shoulder blades back and underneath of the body and close down those eyes. Let go of all activation. Activation through your mind. Activation through the body. Activation through the spirit and the breath. Allowing yourself to be here in this room with no other expectations. Finding space to just take up space. Becoming an object within this room. Allow yourself to be here in the moment. And letting go of all of the rest. Find stillness within the silence. And honor this silence today within yourself. Within this room. And within those that we are connecting to here.
whispered you already. I invite you to gently guide some awareness back into your body. And you might stay right here in your Shavasana for a few moments longer, maybe even past this video, and that's okay. I invite you to stay in your Shavasana if you have the time, if you have the space. Hang out here and soak up a few more moments of silence. Whenever you are ready to move, you start to wiggle out through the fingers and the toes. Maybe even begin to deepen through your breath. From here, begin to reach those arms straight up and overhead. Extend those toes out nice and long. One full deep stretch. As you exhale, you'll guide those knees back in towards the chest. And give yourselves a nice gentle rock sway from side to side, massaging into your spine. And then whenever you are ready, begin to roll over onto one side or the other, the left or the right, lying with your underarm up and overhead as a nice little pillow. And take a breath here for a moment. Notice how this practice sat within your body and how you are feeling. Noticing if there's anything that came up for you within this practice. Notice if you're feeling a little bit different from the beginning of practice. And then whenever you are ready, I invite you to guide yourself back up to a comfortable seated position with your gaze either softly on the floor or your eyes closed, sitting up with that nice long tall spine. We'll begin to bring both hands into heart center let's take these next few moments to bring mindfulness back into our hearts. Finding space to be mindful of yourself. Mindful of how you are feeling. Mindful of what's taking place within your life at this point in time. Mindful of those around you. Finding space to be mindful of how they are feeling. Mindful of what they are going through. Find space to help those who need it most. Keep this and honor this mindfulness in your heart. Take it with you today off of your mat and shine it upon others. Those of you within your home, throughout social media, wherever you can. Find space to honor this today and allow this to spread a little bit of light into your life. Within the darkness, there always is light. So find space to honor that today and shine your light a little bit brighter. Let's bring those hands to the forehead for wisdom, to the mouth for silence, and the heart for love. Thank you all so much for practicing today. Namaste. And I would like to thank you all for coming in and joining on our first online practice today. Um, if there's anything at all that you guys need or anything that you're thinking um, for suggestions, we're always up for them. So leave a comment below. Let us know what you thought of this practice. Um, if there's any other styles of uh, classes that you are hoping to see on these online videos, um, let us know and we'll try to bring them to you. Uh, we're really uh, grateful that we actually have an online platform that we're able to share with our members. So I hope you guys enjoyed it and give us a thumbs up if you do.